Senator Daniel Soccer Examiner Chris Hockman with you over uh, the wrap up of uh, the first four games of uh, MLS Week 12. Uh, we'll begin with uh, Shivas' tr uh, hosting Vancouver, and yet again, uh, Vancouver manager draw, keeping them uh, keeping them winless. And uh, throughout the first half, both teams really uh, failed to uh, make the most of their chances here, uh, keeping a score to the break, but that all changed at the start of the second half with the Shivas goal coming almost instantly. And so it all starts from the kickoff. Shivas USA beginning well and uh, controlling and it's just this beautiful bit of work from the broker as he begins to make his run. Takes off, makes a beautiful run and a great shot. Shivas USA take the lead straight after half time. But it didn't take very long for Vancouver to respond at all. Uh, getting goal of their own just two minutes later. The play comes into the box, Hustley with a beautiful back heel. Shivas try and defend, but they don't do well enough, and it's a beautiful strike into the top corner of the net. Vancouver equalise, 1-1. One, one. And Vancouver's chances took a hit in the 76th minute with a red card against Vancouver. And uh, no surprises for guessing who it was. It was Hustley with his third red of the season. As Vancouver loses possession, and again, Hustley just dives in. It's late, it's reckless, it's with the studs up. You can see the players hurt, and a right decision, yet another red card for Hustley. No real argument. Seems more angry at himself as he walks off the park. Three red cards in 2011 already for Eric Hustley. But Vancouver responded well after the red card. A uh, defensive change uh, really helped them to try and establish some defensive control despite being a man down. Um, Shivas USA dominated the rest of the match, but made some poor decisions, uh, particularly a an, uh, stupid young dive uh, while Queen threw a goal. Uh, silly decisions, so as I made the right call. And uh, yeah, silly decisions like that really cost them poor decision making in the setup, and that cost them as Vancouver escaped with a point. As we head uh, to the other half of the tenants at the Home Depot Centre. Uh, LA Galaxy taking on DC United, and LA Galaxy really started in typical style. They wanted to control the game, uh, but not necessarily attack uh, or score goals. Uh, passing it back to control possession, and again, LA played very predictable football. Pass to Beckham, who'll cross it in for someone to head in the goal. Um, but as much as we all know that's how they play, DC United really failed to uh, to deal with that, and uh, you know, Beckham wasn't at times happy with his teammates for running onto his crosses. Um, DC United were creating chances well and perhaps having the better chances of the, of the first half and indeed of the match. Uh, LA were playing with fire defensively, they were allowing DC United in on the wings and uh, the LA Galaxy were playing very physically and they were getting more and more frustrated uh, as the match went on. LA Galaxy uh, did come out firing in the second half. Uh, uh, which opened up a bit more space for DC United to attack in. They were certainly, like I said, uh, the better side in this one. The long throw was employed heavily as a set-piece option by both teams in this one in the match. Uh, it was a match where really the defence proved the crucial factor. Uh, yeah, LA really focusing their attack on winning set-pieces and then allowing Beckham to set up. It shows uh, Bruce Arena's defensive mentality, I think. In the last 20 minutes, uh, the game really opened up, and uh, we really saw options. But uh, again, just DC United making uh, LA Galaxy, I should say, making some poor decisions uh, that really cost them uh, the match. They were too looking, looking too often looking for the set piece instead of a uh, shooting. Uh, a great example of a dive late on when they could have uh, really shot and probably would have scored. Uh, LA Galaxy just kept attacking, but then they'd give up uh, counter-attacks. Um, and then we saw, of course, Charlie Davies squander a golden opportunity to win the match for DC United. So as you see, DC United get on the counter, it's a beautiful through ball, and Davies runs onto it, a great run, and sh gets around the keeper from the edge of the box, and it looks like he may have slipped, sending the ball wide. Davies will be disappointed with that. And so DC United really controlled uh, the last 10 minutes really well uh, after squandering their chance. And it was really a match that either side could have won had they have been more interested in scoring goals. This dull defensive match uh, ending in a dull scores draw. 
when we head north of the border to Toronto, Kansas City, uh, we'll be very happy about ending their long road run while they've been waiting for their beautiful new stadium to be built. And, uh, you know, they'll be happy to have come away from a run like that with only three losses. It's not so bad. Uh, but they will have been disappointed uh, not to have uh, not to have come away with the more points here against uh, a Toronto FC side really reeling from um, from their 6-2 loss last week. Um, but you know, it was a tight first half. Toronto were uh, clearly worried about getting off to a bad start like they did last week uh, against Philadelphia. And uh, really came to life in the last 30 minutes of the match. Uh, the best chance coming in the 64th minute from Teal Bunbury. And the ball played in well to Bunbury, who works well, turns well, unleashes a shot, and a great save from Frey keeps the match scoreless. In the end, it was a match more that neither side wanted to lose than both sides wanted to win. Uh, Toronto regaining some pride while spotting Kansas City will finally end their long road run as they head back. Uh, to Kansas City for the first time this year. Now we head to New York and the slide continues for New York as they go winless in five. Who would have thought that? Uh, it came as a huge shock with New York opening the scoring just nine minutes in. And it all comes straight from the bag. Nice work from Soli's long ball. Finds Rogers who controls well throws off his skill in space, hits the ball into Bellucci, who's easily able to chip the keeper. 1-0 for New York, things looking good. And from this point on, it just seemed all New York. New York really dominated the match, uh, with a number of chances. Uh, defending solidly, it left Columbus desperately searching for answers. Uh, indeed, they only managed one shot all first half. Um, the breakthrough did finally come for Columbus, leaving the Red Bull arena completely stunned, and it was all about rookies uh, for Columbus as we have a look at their stoppage time. And so it's Marum here on the ball, using his pace to get past his keeper. He sends it in, and a hapless Sutton is beaten. It's Columbus steal an away point. And now both sides, winless in five, but Columbus will definitely uh, be the happier of the two sides. They'll be delighted with a well-earned road point. It's all about taking chances, and that's exactly what Columbus did. New York Red Bulls 1, Columbus Crew 1. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be back with the second half of the games uh, at some point shortly. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And as always, don't forget to visit examiner.com, the internet source for the local.